Dr. Hotes, I, I want to I play you some sound uh, from Dr. Celine Gounder. She is a part of Biden's advisory board. She's talking about the logistics of, of getting this vaccine out. I want you to listen to the sound. We'll talk about it on the other side. We need to be getting to a million doses per day if we're going to reach the, the president-elect's target of 100 million doses in 100 days. And even then, when you consider these are vaccinations or vaccines that require two doses of vaccination, uh, you have to multiply the American population by two. So that's 660 million doses. Divide that by one million a day, that's 660 days. So we really need to be ramping up the pace at which we're doing vaccination. Dr. Hotez, when I hear this, I don't just think about the raw numbers of how hard this is going to be to get out, but I think about the fall off, right? There's going to be lots of people who may come in for dose number one, then they need to get busy and they don't come in for dose number two. What is a realistic uh, number for rolling this out? What is a realistic sort of timeline for getting significant numbers of Americans vaccinated? Well, remember, we, we really have no choice uh, by the fact that the Trump administration has not led any federal program. It's all been left to the states. And we're now we're in this dire situation where we're at 3,000 uh, deaths per day and 200,000 new cases a day. And remember what that number really means. It's Those are underestimates by a factor of four or five. We're talking about a million new cases a day. Mm. And because we haven't had that national program, we're backed into a corner. We have no choice now but to vaccinate our way out of this. And, you know, all of us worked really hard to try to avoid this situation so we wouldn't be so completely dependent on vaccines. But there you are. So now this has to, has to be all hands on deck and getting two doses of vaccine in, into individuals. And we need those two doses because the phase one studies show that the level of virus neutralizing antibodies just not adequate uh, after a single dose. You get some protection, but, but not nearly enough uh, to really get our arms around this uh, pandemic. So that's the plan right now. And unfortunately, our public health system has always come up small every time. We did, It came up small with the diagnostic testing, and it happened again with the virus genome sequencing, the lack of national response. And we're already starting to see missteps with vaccines. So I think what you're hearing today is, for the first time, thank God, national ownership, um, federal ownership, that we're going to solve this problem. And so I think the, the president-elect's remarks were so important today. You know, the other issue is going to be the fact that, um, you know, we don't really have a strong health system infrastructure for administering adult vaccines. Our health system infrastructure is overly reliant on the big pharmacy chains, CVS, Rite Aid, Walgreens, if you think about where you're getting adult vaccinations, and that will certainly help. But I think the other thing we heard from the president-elect uh, was the fact that we're going to put these mobile teams in place, create vaccination sites, and that's what you need. You need that federal intervention if you're serious about getting uh, what really needs to be around 200 million Americans vaccinated. Because remember, to interrupt transmission, we're going to need at least our estimates that we did with City University of New York show that you're going to need 60 to 80 percent of the population, maybe 85 percent of the population vaccinated. And so that's a huge number. It also means vaccinating children and adolescents at some point down the line as well. So massive undertaking. This is the first time we're really hearing about a plan to actually get vaccines to people's arms. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.